The Big Reds are living by one motto this season, bring the juice. Just get fired up and go get ready to knock some heads off and just get ready to go win some championships. Like you were bringing the juice, getting everybody ready to go. Seniors Ty Tate and Alex Ray lead the charge offensively, along with junior fullback Ian Smith. As usual, it's a run first offense. In fact, the Big Reds averaged 214 rushing yards per game last year. Tate is a dual threat himself in that misdirection scheme. He threw for seven touchdowns last season and ran for two more. He is super athletic. The kid's arm right now is the best I've ever seen it. Uh, he, he can throw, he can run, he's very smart with the ball. So we are going to be leaning on his leadership. Well, we have a lot of athletes in, you know, with our receivers and running backs, including myself. So I feel like no matter who we put the ball, like whose hands we put the ball in, we're going to be dangerous either way. Up front, West Middlesex has to replace a trio of all region linemen. But senior Caleb Turcott is back to anchor that front line. We talk with our pads, not with our mouths. We're going to show up on game day do what's expected, uh, win games, and have fun with each other. The Big Reds' playoff streak is up to nine in a row, but they've been knocked out by Farrell in each of the past four seasons. One thing's for sure, though, that will not happen this year. After two straight state titles, Farrell was bumped up to Class 2A. I just feel that without them being in our region and having to play them in the playoffs, we have such an upper hand. I think the expectations are high here. They're like that every year, whether Farrell's in the league or not. You know, make that long, hopefully long run in the playoffs. So the Big Reds hope to take advantage of a Class A playoff picture without Farrell. However, the Steelers are still on the schedule. That's week six here at home. For now, Chase Evans reporting from West Middlesex for Sports Team 27.